What's going on, YouTube? This is Mixtape. I got another gameplay at the park. Two two games of three on three. Two great games of three on three. And if you like this video, go ahead and like like it, please. Helps the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel. I'm always bring you guys something new. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys' opinions are on the gameplay. Not only on the gameplay, but some of the topics that I'm talking about. I love getting you guys' interaction. It helps me out. And uh, gives me something else to talk about on a future video. So, the main thing I'm going to be talking about is kind of what's going on in the NBA. I'm sure some of you guys do follow the NBA, see what's going on in the league. And with that being the case, you guys will probably have a comment. Feel free to speak on it, man. I really appreciate you guys' comments. I really do. I really like to hear what you guys think. And you know, I guess I'll just go ahead and dive into it. So right now, as it currently stands, I believe the Clippers are number one in the West. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the Clippers are number one in the West. Honestly, they're playing great from what I've seen. I don't know if they're going to go all the way. Not just me being a biased Laker fan, but just how it's going. They, I, I feel like they need to kind of go through a little adversity because they just essentially had most of the same team last year so there's no real turnover no real change that happened other than coach and they had Serge Ibaka now which is a great fit for them but at the same time I don't know I I just haven't bought into their stock but they look amazing right now and I assume they're going to win a lot of ball games but off of not just talking about a certain team who all remembers how the season started where there was a few blowouts? You know, like um, the Clippers losing by 50, you know. And the season has just been crazy. The Jazz have been on such a long um, string of wins. You have the Nuggets, who in my eyes, they look good because Joker is playing better. But at the same time, they, I don't know, it's kind of tough with them because they did lose some great pieces that would have helped them out, you know, again this year, Jeremy Grant. And one of the Plumley, I think it's Miles, going to Detroit. And what's crazy is Grant is playing great, but Detroit isn't a great team this year. They have a lot of forwards. And if I'm right, their their young draft pick Killian Hayes got hurt. So it'll be interesting to see if Derrick Rose ends up staying his time there, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that. The Pacers, they picked up Levert, but he still hasn't suited up through that James Harden deal. Since he's, you know, had his medical situation, which is tough, you know, because he was having a hell of a year to start it off. He was doing fantastic for the Nets coming off the bench. And the Nets picked up Harden, but it's good for their offense because I believe they're number one. But then for their defense, they're terrible. So... I don't know if it's just the coaching. I don't know if it's just effort level. They have pieces, so it's not like they don't have any pieces and they don't have help. They have the pieces necessary. Um, I'm sure they'll get a piece or two, possibly come towards trade deadline. But more than anything, I, I'm just really interested to see how this works. It'll still be tough to beat them in a playoff setting. But if I'm them, 
you have to be somewhat concerned about a team like Milwaukee because they have so much depth in the inside and they don't rebound that great other than DeAndre Jordan. So they could easily slow the game down and possibly take their time with them. I don't know. I can't say that that'll happen, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting with the Nets. They play the Clippers tonight, so I'll definitely be tuned into that. See how that goes. That'll kind of tell me a lot about the Clippers if they're for real about taking out the competition or they're just going to let offense dictate everything. Um, again, Joker has been playing phenomenal. Joker has been playing phenomenal for them, and with him playing phenomenal, it, I I still haven't seen Jamal Murray pick it up. Now, I was expecting him to have somewhat of a hell of a year this year, and him not doing that, I mean, he's still liable to go off, right? He still can put up points and ball out. But to me, it's the points on he's not making the greatest contribution night in and night out. Like, I expected him to be doing more coming off of how that playoffs went for him. He was killing it in the playoffs and as somewhat as he regressed. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see how they work themselves out. And... um the Rockets are interesting. That that's the that's the most interesting team to me. They rely a lot on Wood and guys that get hurt. Christian Wood has been playing good, you know. He's still very young, so you have to give him time. But besides that, I don't know because it's like you have Boogie, he's coming off of a major injury. John Wall, he's coming off a major injury. Eric Gordon is up and down. And Oladipo, he's coming off of a big-time injury as well. So it's interesting to see how the Rockets are doing. I think that they can be tough for a first, uh, a first round. Whoever has to play them, depending on the matchup, they could give a team a lot of problems. Maybe even win. You never know. But they're very interesting, and man, I, I'm I'm so interested to see where Victor Oladipo goes. Him and somebody like a Drummond, if Drummond gets bought out, I don't think anybody's gonna trade for him or Drummond. But it'll be interesting to see to me in the free agency what's gonna happen with these guys because. They're both good. Drummond is playing pretty well. But Cleveland has so many bigs, and Drummond is making some serious money. So do you want to pay a guy that you have plenty of as far as, you know, depth? You have centers. Does he help you get another young player to kind of grow with Sexton and Garland? I, mean, I don't know. Cleveland's in a good position. But... Besides that, I'm going to continue talking about this until the next game. As you guys seen, I won 13-6-1. and one. A little light game. Appreciate you guys rocking with me so far. If you haven't, like, comment, and subscribe already. Let's jump into the next game. All right, you guys. Again, like the video, please. It helps the channel to grow. Subscribe if you're new. Let's continue to grow this mixtape family. Comment down below what you guys are feeling about my what I'm saying. And even on my game of 2K, like, what are you guys thinking? Am I playing good? Am I playing bad? I don't know. Let me know. Um, but kind of touch back on. I, I'm very interested on all the depot because I feel like if he goes to a team that's not all the way there, he can kind of help a situation out to make another good contender. Like, for example, 
if Oladipo went to somebody like Denver or he just walks in and goes to Denver, that's added depth at the guard position for them. And he can do just a little bit of everything. He can shoot. He can drive. He can create a little bit. His defense is still great. So, I don't know. It, it's really interesting to see what he ends up doing. And I just wouldn't be surprised if maybe not this year. This is if he doesn't sign an extension to stay in Houston. Um, but if he does decide to stay I mean, who knows? It'll be a tough situation uh, for some teams because then you have a year to have Wall and Cousins healthy. So that can be awesome, especially helping out a franchise that just lost, you know, their superstar for the last few years. But um, besides that, I don't know. Uh, Drummond, if he went to the Nets, that would be extremely tough because somebody like Brooklyn, that that's more keep away, I see. They don't need another guy that's just going to rebound. They got, you know, DeAndre Jordan. But that's going to stop him from going to some team like, you know, the Lakers where they need a big guy in the paint. You know, Marcus Gasol, he's still great. I think he's going to do a lot better come playoffs. But as far as regular season, he's not – he shouldn't be your starting center, you know, and you're having aspirations for, you know, a championship. And he's not bad. I enjoy watching him play. I wish he would take more threes, you know, to keep the defense a little bit more honest. And I know he's slow and his defense isn't what it used to be. But I don't know. At the same point, I, I'm not mad at him. Like some fans are. Um, who's your favorite rookie this year? Right now, I, I've, you know, anytime I get a chance, I'm watching LaMelo and Charlotte. They just gave him the start. And, I mean, I don't know. I think LaMelo's going to be a lot better than his brother. It's crazy to say that LeVar was right. You know, even when that. When he was, you know, extremely young, he had said it. He said, man, I think my youngest is going to be my best. And some people was like, nah, Alonzo's the best or whatever the case may be. And, you know, LaMelo's going out there. He's a baller. Like, he's he's the truth. So he's interesting. And another situation that I've seen is, like, Dallas has looked terrible. I mean, I don't know if anybody's hurt, but they definitely don't look that great. I don't know what's going on with Dallas. They've had, you know, aspirations of making a nice playoff run, but I don't know. They they just haven't really done that well this year. I wasn't expecting them to kind of fall off. And it's interesting how Cleveland and New York is kind of going back down to earth, like kind of how I expected them to play eventually to go back down and play more to their style, which is, you know, they're not the greatest team. So that part is interesting in my eyes. Mm. Milwaukee's done pretty good, but they have lost to – a lot of the better teams. So they're, they're in my eyes really interesting to see. Like are they going to continue to be a great team or what? Middleton has played phenomenal in my eyes. He's picked it up a lot this year. And Drew Holiday has done great work. So I don't know about that one. We'll see how they play when it all comes down to it. But uh, let me know any teams that you guys want to hear about me talk about. Like, what's on your mind? Who are you guys thinking about? Who do you guys think can get it done this year? Uh, Besides the main four, oh, Philly. I almost forgot about Philly. 
they look good. I think they're going to do all right this year. They have some good shooters. So I don't think they're going to fold this year. In Boston, I think they're, you know, they're pretty much the same as, you know, you've seen the last few years. They need a big. They need somebody like a Dwight. Somebody that's going to be in there, play some good defense, gobble up rebounds, and play hard for them. That's what they need. They need that they don't. Tice is good, but he would be a greater player off the bench. Sometimes they have possessions where they need to really stop a big, and they have Tatum playing the four, which is not bad, but at the same time, you know, you probably at certain times wouldn't mind moving him to the three. I don't know. I feel like I covered most of the teams and most of the stuff going on this year. I appreciate you guys watching with me. We're 14-3-0 in this one. A lot of greens in this game. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, comment, subscribe if you're new. This is Mixtape, and I'm out. Peace out, y'all.